Well, we're here again Monday morning and the work week is ahead of us. So to give us a dose of motivation this morning, we are going to head outside with our guest trainer, Eric Munstock. Let's send it outside to Eric and Miss Motivation herself. Meredith, what's this morning's workout? Today, our challenge for you as you start this new work week is to plank it out. We did the challenge last week, which I hope all of you tried and let us know. But Eric, you're going to talk about planking today and the importance that it means for your body. Yeah, planking is a great core exercise, and I'm going to show a whole bunch of plank variations. So we're not just always doing that boring, you know, forearm plank. I like that because then that keeps you busy and you're distracted from what you're actually doing. Yeah, we keep you moving a little bit, and it's still really, really good for that core. Okay, so. So what's the first one we're going to be doing? So I'm going to start with the boring plank. All right, there you go. <laughs> all right, let's get that one out of the way. So we're going to go into that basic forearm plank right here. A good little thing to do if you if you're not you know if you want to enhance a little bit is you want to tension your elbows back and you want to tension your feet towards your elbows. So you're trying to tension them together. It's going to really help you contract your core on. So first basic plank, holding it here, nice and strong. Work out to 30 to 60 seconds. And okay. if you feel good about that, then we can go up into a high plank. So I'm going to do a transition up into a high plank. High plank a little bit more <clears throat> uh, reliable on the shoulders, and we're really working that core. If you want to enhance this again, rotate, like tension your hands outwards, and also try to bring your feet and hands together. That's going to help tension that that high plank. Somebody once told me when you're doing a plank you want to think you have either a beer glass or a wine glass or a coffee mug on your back. You don't want to spill it. Yeah, you want to keep that nice and straight. You can even if you need to, you can squeeze your glutes on help really contract that core. So from here, we can again do variations. So we can lift the hands up. Again, as we lift the hands up, we get a challenge or balance. So our core works a little bit harder. Hands, you can lift the feet up. And then you can also really, really opposite hand opposite foot really work that core and again you're trying to keep your back nice and straight that whole time so. do you want to do a circuit with these different types of movements is that the whole goal in changing it up you can you can in in like as you as you kind of advance through it you can add like you can do like movements throughout and have like a circuit but you know in the in the get-go just really work on one of these movements at a time so you don't want to be too overwhelmed yeah, <laughs> yeah so now that we got those lifts we can go more into a yoga uh, based position. You can kind of push back, lift that leg up into a downward dog, and then slowly bring that knee towards the elbow. Hold, and then lift right back on up to that downward dog position. Opposite elbow, hold that strong, and then push back and switch legs. Switch legs, always switching, driving that forward. I see you're shaking. Does that mean you're making some good progress? Yes, I always say embrace the shake. So if that yeah. core is working, <laughs> you got, you're got you working to stabilize. So that shake is good. So always try to find that little bit of shake. So it's going to help. Okay, do you have any more? Do you want to go through the round one more time? Yeah, I got one, a few more. I mean, I can always do more. There's so many planks. <laughs> Eric variations. knows all yes. the planks. But we're going to go ahead and last but not least, we're going to hold this nice strong plank. You need to come up into that crawl position, keep that core on tight, and then right back to that normal plank. Knees in. Knees out, knees in, knees out, hold that strong. And then if you can more circuit, you come back down into that low plank. Great. Back up into that high plank. Well, we'll have this on our website so you can practice your planking at home. And of course, right after the show, Eric and I will be doing a live Facebook chat with you. We want to know your health and fitness questions and maybe you want some more suggestions for planks. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks so much, Meredith. Embrace the shake. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to use that. All right. Well, that's it for your local news on Fox 11. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow morning.